And what's up you guys? It's your boy SF Bay Area Sports Talk and the San Francisco 49ers make a surprising move today trading star defensive lineman DeForest Buckner to the Indianapolis Colts. In exchange, the 49ers are going to get a first round 13th overall pick. Now, as much as it hurts me to see a guy like DeForest Buckner go, I'm extremely excited about this move for the 49ers, and ultimately, I think it's going to benefit the 49ers moving forward. Number one, we're going to save $12 million as the Colts are going to take on DeForest Buckner's salary. And in fact, the Colts, they gave Buckner his big extension as he is going to make $21 million annually. And ultimately, what it comes down to with the 49ers and the situation that we were in is that, of course, we signed Eric Armstead today to that five-year, $85 million contract. And we also know that George Kittle is on the books for a big contract extension as well. And DeForest Buckner, he also was in line for a big contract extension. And, you know, the 49ers... They weren't going to be able to keep all three of these guys. So, you know, what was going to have to happen is you were probably going to have to find a trade scenario opportunity. And, uh, you know, obviously we know we were never going to trade Kittle. Um, but when it comes to Armstead and Buckner, you had to pick your, you know, choice. And in this case, the 49ers elected to go with trading Buckner because we were able to get Armstead and pay him $17 million. And now we're getting a first round draft pick by trading Buckner. So, you know, the 49ers are hoping that they can get a top talent in the draft, you know, picking that high in the first round. And so we'll be able to afford, you know, a guy like that because he's going to probably be making the league minimum, you know, and then in a few years, we'll have to pay him uh, big money. So the 49ers are saving that money and, you know, they're getting the best of both worlds, I think. In this so game. the other scenario is that if you would have kept DeForest Buckner and traded Eric Armstead, you would have been paying DeForest Forrest Buckner $21 million annually and you probably wouldn't have been able to get a first round pick trading Armstead so you know you might have had a second or third round pick so yeah I mean if you look at these two ultimatum situations the 49ers went with the best situation that they could have and I mean it was a very difficult decision to make there's no denying that because you know Everything that DeForest Buckner has brought, I mean, the man is one of the hardest workers that you can find out there. And, uh, you know, just coming into the league, he just continues day in and day out to put in the work. And not only that, but he's been able to stay healthy. He's had over 850 plus snaps in his first full uh, first four NFL seasons. So, you know, DeForest Buckner, he's everything that you would want a football player to be. He's an excellent leader in that locker room. And, you know, that's where the 49ers are definitely going to miss him big time. They will miss his presence in the locker room, his hard work, everything that he brought on the football field. And, you know, yeah, it's just really tough that these kind of decisions have to be made. And, you know, um, at the end of the day, it's a business, you know, football is a business and you got to do what's best for the team. And, you know, we know that this decision wasn't easy for John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan to make, but for the longevity of looking for the future, um, you know, this is what we had to do. Now with getting that 13th overall pick in the draft, the 49ers, they have a lot of options now with what we can do. You know, we're going to be able to probably secure a top talent in the draft whether we elect to go in the wide receiver direction. And I'll give you guys a couple of the names that are out there that we could potentially target in the draft at wide receiver. So the 49ers could go after C.D. Lamb Ruggs and then also Jerry Jowdy. And then a defensive lineman that the 49ers could potentially target, a guy by the name of Jerron Kinlaw. So yeah, there's a lot of deep talent and the key for the 49ers is they're going to be able to get this talent on a cheap contract, whereas before keeping a guy like Buckner was going to be almost near impossible because of all the guys already on the roster that you were going to have to pay big money contracts to. And so, you know, this is ultimately where the 49ers ended up going. Another big reason why the 49ers also elected to trade DeForest Buckner could potentially be the fact that when we saw DJ Jones get some big time snaps last year he played absolutely phenomenal out there and the big thing with dj jones is 
Obviously, with Buckner being traded, he's going to be given a big-time opportunity next year and get a lot of snaps, and I think he's absolutely going to capitalize on that. The big key for DJ Jones is going to be for him to stay healthy out there. As we know, you know, Buckner did a phenomenal job with that, but, you know, I think DJ Jones can step it up. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we, we've seen so many different young players from the 49ers step up whenever they had to this past year due to injury and you know this uh, situation is nothing different you know uh, obviously having to trade a big name guy um, was not something we wanted to do but we had to do and I think you know we will adjust accordingly and it'll be tough to say goodbye to Buckner and you know could not be more thankful for everything that he brought for us he embodied everything that it means to be a San Francisco 49er and you know for, he'll forever be indebted to us fans for what he um, provided and you know just the hard work he put in the sacrifice that he made for us fans out there to try to win and you know give the 49ers the best opportunity to win and so guys I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you made it all the way through to the end of this video then be sure to smash up that thumbs up button and smash that subscriber button and smash the bell button if you have not done so already if you would like to be notified when brand new san francisco 49ers videos will be coming to you guys live after all the latest breaking news talking 49ers football and let me know down in the comment section i'd love to hear your thoughts 49ers fans what are you thinking about the trade of trading deforest buckner to the colts in exchange for the 13th overall pick in the draft it was a tough move but i think ultimately for the long term this is going to benefit us so i'd love to hear your guys thoughts and perspectives and i want to take this time to thank each and every one of you guys for watching my videos i appreciate you guys absolutely so much and it means the world to me to interact with you and as always guys until next time i will see you guys again thank you for watching and have a great day